Sophie Grützmacher is on stage here, another Fraunhofer we have here. I'm delighted to have you around. Uh, Fraunhofer IFAM, IFAM. From from yes. from the we are back in Germany, by the way, uh, in the north now. And uh, Sophie, oh, I have absolutely no presentation titles in front of me. Sophie will <laughs> talk will talk about development of printed circuits with integrated sensors on flexible voice. Yes, thank and you Sophie, for the introduction. Sophie is a PhD researcher, PhD candidate. Uh, no, I'm a project manager at the IFAM. From Very good. <laughs> I apologize. No, no need. <laughs> Very good. Then, Sophie, feel free to start the screen share. Perfect. Uh, the stage okay. is yours. Yeah, thank you, Christoph, for the introduction. Um, yeah, hello, everyone from me. As uh, Christoph said, I'm Sophie Kritzmacher from Fraunhofer IFAM. And I'd like to welcome you to my presentation, um, Printing Circuits with Integrated Pressure Sensors on Flexible Foils. So, yeah, we will have a short introduction of uh, what Fraunhofer IFAM is and does, um, and then a short um, view of two um, printing techniques um, I'd like to share with you. I hope it's not too much of a recap for you, but I'd like to um, get a little bit into detail why we chose this printing techniques for our development. And then the main part of the presentation is dedicated to a case study where yeah, we printed those circuits and pressure sensors on the flexible foils. So what is Fraunhofer? Fraunhofer is an agglomerate of um, over 70 research institutes, and we are the Institute for Manufacturing Technology and Advanced Materials, short IFAM. Um, the IFAM itself has over 700 employees, over 500 of those scientific and administrative staff, and nearly 200 auxiliary staff and students. 2022, we had an operating budget of 36 million euros, roughly. Um, the main part of this is federal, state, or um, national government um, money, meaning or um, funded from the U um, European Union, meaning publicly funded projects, but also roughly 18 million is economic revenue, meaning industrial projects. EFAM itself consists of four locations, uh, seven, sorry. Um, Bremen being the biggest one where I'm myself working, um, but also there is a large branch in Dresden, Wolfsburg, Braunschweig, Stade, Cuxhaven and Helgoland. What are we doing? We have a wide, wide range of um, competencies, but to highlight a few of them, um, we do research and development in electrical energy storage, um, electric uh, drive technology, as well as charging infrastructure and network integration, and energy system analysis, as well as, of course, the group I am working in, functional printing and additive manufacturing. In the functional um, printing group, we have a, yeah, a range of different printing techniques, and I'd like to um, highlight two of those, the dispensing and the screen printing which, uh, as we can later see in the case study, really complement each other well when, yeah, when played to both their strengths. So first, the dispensing technology, in this case, um, jet dispensing. Jet dispensing works um, via a piezo-driven plunger, seen here, and the paste is pressurized and therefore moved towards this plunger which moves up and down and deposits droplets of the paste, which then form a line. The whole system works contactless and we have a printing distance of five to eight millimeter, um, meaning yeah, the difference between the substrate and the nozzle. And that's actually a quite robust Z positioning, which is quite beneficial when utilizing, for example, robot arms and allows us to 
yeah, have a very robust process for 